Hello everyone, Jeff here at Jeff's Jet Boat. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about all the in-haul drain plugs, why they're there, what should I do, plugs in, plugs out, begin. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and let's identify all the locations that we have drain plugs. Well, we got one down there in the closet underneath the black mat, at the very bottom. We got one in the engine bay that's located, eh, it's kind of hard to see, there it is right there and then one directly below us right there. So now you know your drain plug locations. What do they do? What's the point of having these in the hall? Well, this is just an option from the manufacturer. So Yamaha believes in their wisdom, if you were to run over ground something and the hall and the build starts filling up with water, eventually it will, it could spill over into each one of these compartments. So by keeping that plugged, water won't bubble up through it and then fill this compartment up. It most likely will eventually. The boat starts to sink, it's gonna sink. Same thing for the engine bay. You know, below here, below this engine bay, which is pretty much where, if you were to take, I get the camera down there, if I stick my finger through that drain plug, I will eventually hit the bottom of the boat. So there is an area so there is an area between the bottom of the hull, where the bottom of the hull is, and then the rest of this shell. So by keeping those plugs in, it kind of forces all the water to go to the back to where the bilge pump can pump it out. Now, you leave your drain plugs in, eventually you're gonna get water in. It is a boat. It is okay, everyone on YouTube, for your boat to get water in the bilge. It is a boat, it is fine. So, you leave your drain plugs in, I guarantee you my ski locker would be filled up with nasty, just nasty, nasty old water. Same for my engine compartment. People getting in and out of the boat, people wet feet, life jackets. So I keep my plugs out. I don't put them in. I don't ever put them in. They stay out all the time. I guess in case of an emergency, it might be nice to have them handy. And what I do is I keep all my drink plugs right here in this little case here. So in case something happens, I can go in and I can screw them in. And that's pretty much it. So, if you are on the lake and you have water bubbling up through your drain plugs and the ski locker in here, you have a leak in your boat. And nine times out of 10, that leak is from your scupper valve. That's the probably the OEM plastic has cracked and water's coming in. It could be leaking from where your exhaust um, outlet bolts up. It could be leaking from a couple other spots. But if your boat sits in the water and you have water coming up through your drain plugs in your engine bay and in your ski locker, you got water coming in the boat somewhere. And you should probably address that. Boats can leak a little bit. But if you drain it, and this happens like within a day, number one, your bilge, isn't, bilge pump isn't working um, and you need to address that. But that's the whole thing with these drain plugs. Do I leave them in, do I leave them out? Leave them out, leave your drain plugs out. That way all the water can drain out. Get an emergency, keep them close by. You can screw them in just in a couple seconds, just like what I do, but I leave them out. If my boat sits in the water, for a week like say we just got back from vacation my boat was in the water for a week i leave my drain plugs out um that's just what i do so that's my personal opinion on this so hopefully that helps you out um speaking of these drain plugs let me go to the back and we'll show you where possible leaks can happen this is the back of the boat where's water coming in at well, number one spot is this. Now this isn't the factory scupper valve because it's metal. What happens is the plastic one on the inside of this, it's got a plastic nipple that comes on, on it, off of it, and that's where the hose goes to. Well, that plastic cracks. And so when this is below the water line, water comes into this little flap and just leaks into your bilge. The other place it can leak, it can leak around your exhaust outlets. Those are the main two spots where water is going to leak. Now, when I surf, my boat leaks pretty good. And that is because 
I have my rub rail below the water line. And so I get a lot of water leaking in from there. But those are the first two places that you can, you can, you can look. Now, a good way to identify this is get your boat out in the lake, keep it on the trailer, and then what you can do is you can take this liner out. Sometimes you can get away with, with removing your inspection covers and sticking your head down there and looking. But as you can tell, it's a dark, scary area. It's hard to see. But if you take this whole, if you, un if you undo this whole liner and take it out, you'll be able to see every little leak. And actually, if you go and watch my final ballast video test, this is exactly what I did. And I actually found a little bit of a leak. And it was coming from where my, um, the silicone around where my exhaust outlet mounts. I had just a little tiny drip and I'm okay with it. Again, the bilge compartment can take on water. It's fine. It's not going to rot nothing. It's all fiber left. It's a boat. But that's what I would do. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Ask questions. I'll try to make videos. I'm actually making this video because of someone asking about it. They had a ski locker that was filling up with water and they're wondering why. And that's why. Your boat is taking on water. And if your bilge pump isn't pumping, then there you go. So I hope you guys all have been enjoying your summer and we'll see you back here on another video. Thanks, bye. Jet boat, baby, jet boat.